So basically my new boiler have arrived and welcome back to DIY Tech and Repairs YouTube channel. Today we are going to start off with the new equipment that I'm installing for the heating for my house. I need to unload this first and I have to load it on a big trailer. Unfortunately I do not have my excavator around so I cannot lift it off with that one. Uh, the only thing I have is my car lift and I need to get the stuff away from this trailer otherwise I won't get my excavator at home at all. So let's see what we can do about it and get it off. So that's basically how you do it, I don't know, without proper tools. Um, I have my engine hoist, I could have used that one as well, but it actually went pretty fast to do it with a car hoist. It's not optimal in, all, in any way, but that's one way to do it. So let's see what it is that we got. We have the boiler itself here. It's a rather decent 35 kilowatt boiler um, with 140 liter of wooden space inside. So that's pretty decent and it makes a really good burn. Um, it's a simple model with no computer itself inside. Um, so that might be a fun experiment to add a computer for it to actually make sure that it is as efficient as possible. I did get three of these 500 liter tanks. Uh, it's a Swedish brand not made, it's, it's actually made not far away from where I live 500 liter um, two normal tanks and one with heater for hot water that you drink uh, this is just for storing energy and it goes into the house as well I did get the control system for the house to set the heat um, I'm not going to use this because I'm using my Raspberry Pi for that uh, some pumps were included and of course a lot of pipes uh, this is the roster inside the, the boiler itself as you can see this one is pretty wor worn out but that's the only thing that I need to swap out be noted that this boiler is 8 years old um, they say those roasters should hold up 5 to 6 years or something like that and they have been using it for 8 years and it's still fine, you can work with it um, but you might get burn damage through this crack here um, I got a lot of pipes of course as you can see here on the floor I have stripped some of the pipes out already those are copper pipes, uh, mostly 28mm unfortunately they are soldered as you can see with my foot are, no, sorry, clamped and the the biggest issue is that they cut every damn pipe off. They even cut the iron pipes off instead of actually screwing them off. That's a little bit shame, but on the other hand, uh, 
we can't do much about it. So in that pile I have a copper pipe, uh, iron pipe, and you can see there's a lot of insulation as well that I have stripped off, and I will be reusing all the insulation wherever I need. This is the two other tanks, and this tank here is the one with built-in um, heater. It has an electric heater first of all, 9 kilowatts, so you can heat the tank with electric if you want. Um, and this one also has the boiler uh, built in to get heat to, um, for instance, showering and stuff like that. And uh, this tank is I'm not going to use, I'm going to use the two others. I got two of these uh, expansion tanks as well. This is 130 liter, I got a 50 liter as well. I will be using the 130 liter to expand my current 200 liter tank. Uh, and they are needed to get the system working properly because I have a pressured system. I also have this pile here. Um, this is actually rather useful or this is actually one of the piles that are worth uh, some parts. I will not be using this pile here because I'm actually going to sell it. This is the ladder mat, it's called in Swedish. Um, this is what gets the heat or the, the, the hot water from the boiler to the tank and does it in the most efficient way that you can. I'm not sure what this thermostat is set on, if it is an 82 degrees or whatever it is. Uh, this is the shunt that actually controls how much heat is going into the house. I have one already, it's working, it's not the best, but it is working uh, with a self or a home built um, motor. Uh, it might be that I switch this one out and use this motor instead. Uh, currently I have no use doing it so. But this shunt here is most likely a little bit better than I have. Uh, so we'll see about that and see if we actually switch it out. I do like this motor, it's another type of controlling system, so we'll see. So if you want to stay tuned and see more videos of me installing the system, actually expanding the current system because I'm keeping the current uh, barrels or the water tanks and I'm going to add two more water tanks and I'm going to add my uh, the new wood boiler itself to the existing system and then I need to reinstall the hardware and software for actually taking care of the heat to the house. So if you want to see all that, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I'm not sure if how detailed it will be, but I will try to do a video in between. So we'll see about that and I say thank you for now. And if you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to do it down below. And press the notification bell as well if you want to have notifications of new videos. And I'll see you in the next video and hopefully you will see what's going on. Thank you. Bye.